they start, if you want to back in on the opposite squad, and we'll just do a few more coming in here. Yeah, no, that's awesome, thanks. And I'd like to now introduce His Honor, the Mayor, Terry Dow. Uh, it's great to be here today. I want to thank the committee for, uh, for the ideas uh, to bring this forward. It's a great location. A lot of people have an opportunity to see this. Um, I think it's, uh, 
unbelievable for the first time to see this many people out and I want to thank the community for supporting it to continue to support it. Uh, as you know our, our slogan is where town and country meets and I can't think of a place that should have, shouldn't have a farmer's market other than us with that slogan. So uh, very pleased to be here. Once again I want to thank the committee and the vendors uh, and, and wish you all the luck and uh, I'm going to be going around and uh, hopefully picking up something for dinner tonight uh, in my travels here as well. So uh, thank you very much and uh, have a great day. Uh, MP uh, Kelly Leach to come forward and say a few words if she would. Thank you. Well, uh, most importantly, congratulations to, uh, to Sandy and the whole crew. I feel like uh, all I do is farmers markets now. They're popping up all over this riding, which is spectacular because as Terry just mentioned, we are so blessed in Simcoe County. We have outstanding Canadians who produce the food that we put on Canada's tables every single day. And we're the ones that not only produce it, but we also make sure it gets to those dinner tables. So thank you for everyone that's participating in the market. Thank you for those that are also participating and uh, bringing their own wares. I love seeing new entrepreneurs out, uh, making sure that Canadians have uh, great opportunities. And I hope you all have a great Canada Day tomorrow. If I don't see you, happy Canada Day. So, but Moondance, have you heard of Moondance? We're from Moondance, which is on the fifth line. Oh. So, two minutes from here, we sell all the stuff every Thursday to Sunday. This this guy tells you what we're going to have each month, so. Oh, oh that helps. <laughs> that will help. Thank you. Have you heard of Scapes on the No. They are really, really quite tasty. So, these guys come off the garlic plant when it's. Um, say before it's ready to harvest they grow off the top so it's got a garlic flavour um, but not quite as strong we're going to put on the tart one of these which one's a little recipe that's got information about moondance it's just on the fifth line so really close to it we're going to have some eggs you can also make pasta out of them there's a recipe we tried the other day and you can wrap them in bacon and anything wrapped in bacon is good but garlic bacon is also really nice <laughs> I've been doing it the last couple of days. My butternut squash is just like, like they're on steroids. Good. As long as they get enough water, I'll be very happy. Like sausages. Come by the farm or something. Thank you. I've got a spider with me all the time. Oh, I can't hurt my ass. Oh, I swear. Hi there. Hello. I've got napkins. <laughs> Perfect. Here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> There. Hello. They're six dollars. No, I'm gonna get it. And uh, carrot cake. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, uh, you want the blueberry banana? Oh, you guys are gonna eat it. <laughs> I like carrot cake. Oh, okay. So it would be nine dollars, please. Hello. Good, how are you? Am I interested either one of you in a sample of scotch Thank egg? You. It's hard boiled egg and it's rolled in like sausage meat around it and deep fried. <laughs> oh. Do you like to try some? <laughs> no, it's good. Well, I hope not. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the traffic. No, exactly. It makes more sense. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you got to go all the way. Start at the end and come back. <laughs> for a dollar. Like, okay. I wouldn't fit a bag. I don't know what I'll do with it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> well, like, you, you can put on, you can put, you can put on ice cream. You can put on. What can you put on, Alan? I am sure that I'll find something to put it on. Yeah. We already have a strawberry rhubarb. It comes up nice and high. It keeps it cool. Yeah. Pick it up a notch. There's a dollar. I think that's a dollar. You say that you're leaving Well that comes as No surprise Still I kinda like this feeling Of being Left behind This ain't nothing new to me No, it's just like Going home It's kind of like those sunsets they leave you feeling so stoned. Oh hey, hey, I guess it hasn't hit me yet. I fell through this crack and I kind of lost my head. Stand transfixed before the street light Watching the snow fall on this cold December night This ain't nothing new to me No, it's just like Going home You got sick of the pattern And I got lost In this song It hasn't hit me yet I fell through this crack And I kinda lost my head I stand transfixed Before the street light Watching the snow fall On this cold December night Out in the middle of Lake Ontario Falling on the deep side of the water, and still I wander into the waves of my heart, into the waves of my heart, of my heart.
So these are the same kind of cheese that just, Jesus have uh, herbs in them yeah, and spices yeah. to give them unique flavors. Yeah. Whereas in this is just uh, plain uh, sheep cheese. Yeah, we have a lot of business on the farm and it's just a white and so it's very hard to grab. Okay, that was 19... Something? Here, just say that. Okay, that's good. Okay, did you need a bag? Actually, yeah, and can you keep this in a cooler for me and I'll pick it up later? Oh, of course, yeah, I can do that for you. Okay. I'll be here for a moment. I used to do with David Woods down in Toronto. It would always sell out. Oh. Okay, I'm going to see... I love this idea. I got some... Yeah, so 490 and 375 is 775 plus 90 is uh, 8, uh, 10 and 12. Oh, yeah. Again, we've got some uh, pumpkin pie here. I will consider that, talk to you about it, and uh, come up and see you guys. Okay? Do you like the feisty? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's the fiesta, that's the funny one, so they're $6. So it was this the height? Uh, feisty or the plain fiesta? Yeah. Which one did you try? Yeah. The feisty yeah. has scotch bonnet in it, so it's got a bit of a bite. I think I'd probably like the feisty for the <laughs> Great on cheese or meats, uh, barbecue. We use it with eggs, but yeah. Yeah. fat, yeah. scrambled yeah. chicken, ham, yeah. anything. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Hi, Laura. Hi. Are you Sandy as well? I am. Hi, I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. You too. Good work on the Facebook page. Oh, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That was for you, and then we do a lot for wedding shop. Oh, they are. I'm a fourth generation beekeeper, and our we are certified by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency uh, to tell you that this is pure Canada number one honey. When you buy honey, just for your safety and traceability, always look for a registration number. Okay? So, on the, see where it says reg, registration in this number? So that tells you that this is pure honey. Okay? Other than that, if you buy honey and there's no registration number on it, then there's no guarantees that what's inside the jar is what you're looking for. Well, I know this guy had just pure honey. It wasn't his honey to see this, and I was even talking about what I thought. Yeah. Um, I hadn't had a chance to get down that way for a while. I'll tell you what happens I used, is... I used to always buy uh, this the green one honey. from yeah. green honey. But Yellow like flowers. That's a canola field. When they pull in the nectar from the canola, we find always the canola honey will crystallize quicker. So we're really kind of watching how much canola and we'll use it for the crystallize because it's just already starting the process. Yeah, we like the canola for the... You know what type of honey I don't like? It's buckwheat. Buckwheat? Buckwheat. I don't you like it. You have to acquire a taste. I agree with you. For me to put it in tea or on toast, I couldn't do it. But you know what? Have you ever tried it like on a good rack of ribs or pork tenderloin? It takes on a whole different flavor. Cooking it and eating it makes a whole, takes a whole different uh, yeah. Yeah, flavor. But in my tea or whatever, I can't get past this. Yeah, I just. Are the bees doing better this year? Are the bees doing better this year? You know what? They didn't have the computer to do that. I always touch wood. Thanks for asking. They're looking much better. I've noticed more bees around our place this year as well. The only thing is, we need some rain.
The only way I like it is in the uh, with the horse riders mixed in with the. There you go. This young woman came from Florida. Yeah, I got you. Did you film it? He's in North of Shelburne, surely. Hey, Chris. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Steaks, you know, like they don't have a lot of fat in them, they don't have <laughs> care of the bones, you know, yep. you know, and it has all the proper vitamins and nutrients in it, like so you have omega-3 fats, um, mm -hmm. you don't get that unless you grass finish your beef, so even if they spend six weeks on grain, all the omega-3s are in it. so our pork has lots of vitamin D because they're outside, they're a colored pig, they go out, so. so you get a lot of vitamin D from that pork. Oh, I know, but we can, you guys are going away. Where where are you located? Uh, we're just south of Cold Water, so right on the 400. So if somewhere. I get this, can I throw obviously that in the freezer? Then how long? This you can just we just hang it from the cover kitchen. We just take this and put it on the knob, and then we'll cut the bottom. I'm gonna go back to the car. And get you guys, get some you guys are gonna like this yeah, for sure. Okay. Here, try one of those and share it with your brother. Now what are those? Not taste similar to the that? to the summer sausage. <laughs> These two are just so more so good. Come on. And I will have a pack of those. Hello, my friend. Yeah, man. Are you looking for anything in particular? Everything here is handmade. Yeah. No, just we specialize in shaver. Well, I'm 
Pulled out of Pittsburgh, heading down that east seaboard. I got my diesel wound up, she's running like never before. There's a speed zone, have it all right. No, I don't see a cop inside. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. I got my 10 forward keys in a Georgia overdrive. I'm taking little white pills and my eyes are open wide. Well, I just passed the Jimmy in the white. I've been passing everything inside. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. You know it's been a month since I kissed my baby goodbye. I could have a lot of women, but I'm not like some other guys. I could find one to hold me tight. I could never make believe it's alright. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Bothers me tonight. I can dodge all the scales, all right. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. a little old, but that don't mean she's slow. There's a fire from a stack and the smoke's rolling black as coal. My hometown's coming inside, if you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home on the road and I'm gonna make it on tonight.